Hello, Melee community on YouTube. I'm T1 Glistener Elf, here to show off really quickly uh, the way that I play the game, specifically my grip. You know how most people hold a GameCube controller like this? Um, I, for whatever reason, and I'll actually show you how, why, have taught myself to hold it like this. So, left side, just as usual. Uh, right side, instead of our thumb having to cover all this area, it actually only does the C stick, B and A. Uh, I use my index finger to jump by going on the Y button. I'll show you why in just a bit. Um, and unlike Mewtwo King's Claw Grip, I actually use two fingers, uh, one for each of these. And that seemed a little bit redundant, but the reason is because I actually use um, L and R both for different reasons. I'll show you why in just a quick sec. Actually, let's just jump right into it. I'm going to play Luigi, not only because he's a former maid of mine, but it just show it serves to exaggerate some of what I'll be showing you. Uh, Yoshi's story seems good. Uh, so forgive me if I I don't have too many good audio cues right now uh, because of the setup. So the main reason is uh, the main reason for what? Let's start with this. This is how I jump. For the most part, <laughs> if I'm paying attention, uh, instead of doing a full, like, keep my finger on the button, which makes it a little bit harder to do a short hop with characters like Luigi has a three-frame launch window, it's just harder to do. If I roll my finger off, you know, and that's certainly doable if you tap jump. I think it's a bit harder. I don't know how HBox, well, HBox does it because his character has four frames, right? And also, he's just so much better than I am. But yeah, this is how I go about doing it. You know. So just quickly rolling it off. Okay. This is what I get for watching the screen and then watching uh, the camera screen back and forth. But yeah, this is basically what I'm doing in the middle of a match. So, especially with a character like Luigi, where short hop down air, short hop forward air. You know, they're so important. They're you know, very consequential parts of his, uh, his neutral game. Uh, that really comes in handy, being able to do that. You don't have to, but some players, I don't know how like Hugs does this, where he can jump up here, and he also uses, I don't know, he uses the base of his thumb. He's, I, I don't get it, but he does it. So that's reason number one. I also am the kind of guy that uh, drives with one foot on the brake and one on the accelerator. I don't have a stick, so only two pedals. Uh, but because I'm ambidextrous, I can react pretty evenly, pretty equally in timing uh, between the two. Uh, and so as a result, it just, it's optimized, it's faster to not have to move your foot as far. Same thing here, it's optimized if my finger doesn't have to go from, you know, from Z to R or vice versa, if they're just already on it. Uh, the biggest issue is that there's a bit of a learning, cur uh, learning curve with this, so... Yeah, you will have to teach yourself. You will have to get yourself into the habit of doing it. Uh, but yeah, that's one advantage. Pop. Nice and fun. So, I think this is the my favorite part of it. I actually use L and R both when I play. This certainly has taken me the longest amount of time to uh, work on. But I have taught myself, more or less, to shield with right, shield with R, and air dodge, you know, with L. <laughs> okay, so the reason for that is because, and, and I saw Mewtwo King talk about this in a video of his, where he was saying, technically, it's optimal. Technically, it would be fastest if you could do uh, L or R for shield and then the other for wave dash, because you could do frame perfect Alright, <laughs> little... There we go. You could do frame-perfect wave dashes out of shield. Whereas in someone like Mewtwo King's case, what he does is he uh, shields and then has to... I don't... I don't well, okay, he, he does claw, so it's... Like, I, I haven't actually done it the Mewtwo King way. But I, just naturally, I try to... I, I can't do it. I can't make myself do it with the same hand. I, I've gotten so used to doing it this way. Um, but he was talking about how technically it would be optimal to do it that way. Okay. Mario. 
Mario, why? <laughs> Mario? Mario? Alright, nothing new. I'm tired of you. Oh yeah, 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 once again distracted by two screens. So, the main reason is because I can do these... Perfect, and as you can tell, I, I still have some getting used to to do. But yeah, that's that's what I'm working on. I don't know. I'm just messing around at this point. Anyway, that's why I hold my controller the way that I do. Uh, Shoutouts to 20XX for making this a lot easier, actually. So let me show you in action what all of this looks like. Um, versus melee. I don't know. Let's be Luigi again. Let's be normal Luigi versus. I don't know. Pick somebody. You've got a big hitbox. We'll do you. Yeah, level 1. I'm just going to show off. Well, you know, whatever. Let's make it level 9. I think this is actually Luigi's worst matchup. I just want to show what it all looks like when it's added together. Uh, something like... this. A Luigi main, I am not. Not anymore. You will note the lack of misfires in just a sec. Gotta charge that up. I do remember that much. Oh! Yeah, that's the hardest part about Mark, just getting past his reach. I'm gonna try to get a jump cancel up smash in here somewhere. Maybe that only works on humans. Don't taunt. Okay. Mama, mama, misfire. Nope, none of that. Yeah, I never really know how to wave dash on these things. Gotta get hit with this shield breaker. Not even close. I also don't change my grip when I play Luigi, uh, as you're probably supposed to do, just because I don't sit down. I mean, I do understand that it's technically optimal to change your change to something like that. I mean, let me change my grip in the middle of a of a set. Yeah, so, got the one. Ooh. Should have realized I didn't have time to get into the ground. Man, I am sucking it up today. There we go. Oh, that was bad. Uh-oh, Mars be mad. Need to not just randomly use up my jump like that. Why did I feel like I had to do that? I felt like I wanted to swag out at the end. And it would have been cool if it had worked, but you know. Alright, there we go. So that's more or less what it looks like. It's just 
a lot faster to get from one to another. I don't have to do any of this like running around over here using my the base of my thumb for the C-stick. None of that. It feels a lot more precise. Um, I do need to work a lot more at this. Some aspects of this are still getting a little bit tricky. Um, I still have a hard time with you know, with wave dash out of shield, getting the timing just perfectly, but you know, something I need to work on, and I know it, I know it. Um, I jump with Y, I don't jump with X. I think some people prefer to do this even when they claw. I don't know which is faster. I think Y, just it feels more natural to me. I think that if I were to use X, it would be probably like either this or this, and neither of those feel as good. Um, my wrist is actually hurting a little bit because, not because of the controller, but because of the tripod itself. This is actually a very, I think, intuitive way to play once you get used to it. Um, because there's not a lot of additional movement. And with the exception of Y, having to slide off and get yourself back onto it, there's not really a lot of, um, there's not a lot of room for manual error, right? You, you won't, like if you're playing with your thumb, and you're just in the heat of the moment, you go, you know, you go for Y and you hit this area or something like that. Um, there's not a lot of that that goes on because everything's already about where it needs to be. Uh, or exactly where it needs to be. Um, I also play Jigglypuff with my main now, so I get Jigglypuff privilege where I will be able to play until I am 90 years old and not have a problem. Uh, this helps, I think, a little bit with that. Oh, well, let's not, let's not give everyone a headache. Slowly, right? Just ever so slowly. Yeah, it, it feels intuitive enough. I rather like it. Um, there may be some better way to do it. I imagine you might... This is, the, this is the one possible recommendation I would have. Maybe. Samus Mans only, I think. Uh, you might be able to get away, if you are very, very good, much better than I, with doing this, like using your index finger, because, I'm not doing this just for no reason, there's a reason, uh, or something like this, I don't exactly know how you do it, I want to experiment, but Samus players actually can use the, uh, what would you say, the buttons instead of just the stick, they actually get the chance to use this for extended grapple, for instance. Uh, and so, if you were a Samus main, you might be able to figure out some way to... I don't know how you do it, grip them like grip it like this, or put your finger on top. That seems like it's easy enough for your finger to slide off, and that might get you in trouble. It also seems like it'd be a little hard to dash dance. Um, but if you could figure out a way to do it, ta-da, you all, all of a sudden have easy access to all of this. Uh, and of course, if you want to get frame-perfect taunts, <laughs> I guess that's a thing. That's something you could do. Uh, that's pretty much it for me right now. I guess that I will see you all later. Take care, Melee community. Bye-bye.